chat yourself, Sunny everyone. It's Trainman Seven Thousand. Hello, guys, and welcome back to episode three of Lego Wars. Now, in this episode, what will happen when they enter the portal? Will the key work? Oh, let's find out. One day, Ivor, the inspector, was talking to the team. He said that he'd be assessing their health levels and seeing what they were up to through the computer booth. He also said that they'd each need a special weapon, a weapon that could penetrate anything. Then Stan read an important point. What are the chances of us to die? Ah, uh, very high, said Ivor. So, how will we survive, said Joshy. Natural resources, I guess, said David. Then Trainman's robot interrupted. Can the rest of the team's robots come? Hmm, said Ivor. I think the David's robot should go, because his is the latest robot built. Yes, said David. They all went to sleep that night, hoping that the key would set the portal alight. The next morning, they awoke with excitement, ready to get their new weapons. Stan Trainman... David and Joshy were all excited. They could not wait to enter the portal. Ivor said that they'd each have cameras mounted to their chest so then they could see on big screens what was happening with each of their progress. They said that they only had three screens and only three people could be monitored. One of them was the robot screen, one of them was train man screen, and the last one was David's screen. Because when they went out, they'd each be split into two groups, train man and Stan together, and David and Joshy together. But very soon, things could get nasty. The team watched in amazement as Ivor went to look the portal. Three, two, one. Ivor explained to the team that one of them would had to take the key. The reason why they had to take the key back was to relight the portal because Ivor knew from the history books that it would go out. He also told them that there were vehicles on the other side specially for them to use and there may even be a nuclear war base. He told them to go into the invisible part of a portal, not the blue part. Once the whole team had gone through, the portal unlit and Ivor went to the screen. Once the team had been through the portal, they awoke in a half-destroyed base. David's robot immediately got a call from Ivor, who said that last night the security camera caught the suit walking through the portal and had lit it itself. The team was shocked by this news. But train man said, instead of bothering about that suit, let's go look at our brand new vehicles. The team really liked their new vehicles. Stan had a four wheel drive Toyota RAV4. Joshy had a Mitsubishi Evolution 5. 
train man 7000 had a a pretty cool convertible but he didn't know what brand it was as for David he had the coolest vehicle and most useful it was a Toyota Hilux souped up to the max maximum raise the biggest engine you can fit in it but the most useful part about it was it was a tow truck David's robot told the team that he knew that there was another base somewhere close but now because it is all overgrown you cannot see it the rest of the team was shocked they asked David's robot how long ago it was when he last went through the portal David's robot said it was about a hundred years ago when he last went through on mission 897 it was very scary for him because he had never been here before but he kind of knew his way around so he's kind of like tour guide then the team decided to venture out into the woods not knowing what would happen Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Trainman7000, and if you enjoyed this video, slap that like button, share it with a friend, comment what you think may happen in the next episode. Anyway, Trainman7000.